Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it?
There's so much severance that comes with being a Democrat. You understand how evil voting is? When we decide to vote, when we decide to be a Democrat, when we decide to be in politics, it divides us as a people. Not all black people are Democrats. Not all black people want to vote. Not all black people care. Now you got one, you got a portion of black people fighting another portion of black people just because of the political party they decide to align their views with. That's called division. We were never supposed to divide ourselves amongst each other, but that was by design. Our oppressor designed that, and he used the pastors, he used the bishops, he used the bishops, he used the deacons, he used the evangelists to teach us how to be divided amongst each other when we were never supposed to be. We have to stop being a Democrat. We have to stop being independent. We have to stop being a part of the Republican Party. We have to stop trusting America, because that's imperative, because so saith the Lord. Right. Go ahead. And maketh flesh his arm. It said what? And maketh flesh his arm. When you make flesh your arm, the flesh is talking about America. The flesh is talking about the Democrats. The flesh is talking about the Republicans. The flesh is talking about the U.S. Army. It's talking about the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Marines, the U.S. Air Force, the Coast Guard, the National Guard. It said what? And make it flesh his arm. That arm is talking about your power and your strength. We were never supposed to make that our power. We were never supposed to depend on America to be our power, to be our strength, to give us support. It was supposed to be the Lord's priest who was supposed to support blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the pastor never taught you that. You understand? The pastor is supposed to be the shepherd who leads the sheep. And if you can't even depend on your pastor to defend you. You can't, de you can't depend on your bishops or your deacons to defend you. But I pray that you understand that you can depend under, you can depend on commanding General Yohanna, who is under Christ, who is under God, to defend you. I promise you that. Go ahead. And whose heart departeth from the Lord. This is how your heart departs from you. This is how your heart departs from the Most High. You think you're talking to God. We think we're having a conversation and a personal relationship with God. And you having a heart-to-heart -heart with the Most High. Well, if you are a Democrat, if we become Republicans, we depart from the law. That's what the Bible said. The Lord wants, to, uh, wants us to understand it. Go ahead. Verse 6. For he shall be like the heath. He said what? For he shall be like the Go heath ahead. in the desert. He said what? In the desert. The Lord said, he shall be like a heath in the desert. Does anybody know what a heath is? A heath is a shrub, and it's, out, and it's plentiful, you understand? It's absolutely resourceful, but it's in the desert. For whoever is in the desert, you will go to this shrub, and it will benefit you kindly. It will be resourceful to you, you understand? Here, let me tell you something, black man. Let me tell you something, Native American man, okay, and Latino man. You are nothing but a resource to this Democratic Party. You are nothing but a resource. We are nothing but a resource to America. We are nothing but a resource to this white man. You understand? That's what the Lord said. He said what? And he, and he shall be like the heat in the desert. We are like a cattle unto our oppressor. We're nothing but a resource. And they use us, you understand? They use and abuse all of our inventions, our brains, our intelligence, all of our work, we have become nothing but cattle and a resource to America. That's because of the Democratic Party. That's because of your pastors. That's because of the pastors and the bishops and the deacons. The Lord said he shall be like a heath in the desert. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about this heath in the desert. If you are like a shrub in the desert, it's able to benefit. It's able to survive on its own in absolutely nothing. 
a shrub can survive in the desert with absolutely nothing. That's the black man in America. That's the Latino man in America. We survive in the ghetto. We survive in nothing. We survive in the hood. We survive in our cities. We survive in Baltimore. We survive in D.C. We survive in Richmond. We survive in Norfolk. We survive in New York. We survive in Chicago. We survive in Atlanta. And it's absolutely nothing. That's the Lord said he shall be like a shrub, like a shrub in the desert. Go ahead. And shall not see when good cometh. And he shall not see when good cometh. Because of the pastors, the deacons, and the bishop, they led you so far up the white man's behind, you can't even smell what's coming. You can't even see when good cometh, you understand? Right here, right in front of you right now, this is the good that's coming. We are the good that the Lord sent under commanding General Yohanna, who is under Christ, the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. We are the good that cometh. And we are prophesying that Christ is going to return and we are going to inherit the kingdom of heaven and we are going to rule the earth under Christ. That's good. That's a beautiful thing. A white man not in power is a beautiful thing. Right. America not in charge is such a beautiful thing. And I pray that you understand. Go ahead. But shall be, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness. And shall what? And shall, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness. We are inhabiting the parched places of the wilderness. The parched places, meaning in the wilderness, the wilderness is already nothing. It is already barren. It's barely resourceful. Only the shrubs is what makes it resourceful. The only thing that makes Baltimore resourceful is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The only thing that makes these black cities resourceful, like Chicago, and New York, and Atlanta, and Richmond, and Baltimore, are these niggas back here. These niggas that are walking the streets, you understand? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We make Baltimore great. We make America great. You understand? We said the parched places of the wilderness, meaning we are in the most we are in the most dried up place, and this is where we survive, you understand? Shit. Yeah.